In this video, we're going to look at a tool in AppSumo that can create demos and presentations for your business faster than ever before. The tool is called Fable, and you'll be amazed at how easily you can create presentations of all kinds that can tie directly into lead generation for your business. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you stick around to the very end of the video. Hi, I'm Bjorn from Launchtime Media. Now let's get started. This is the Fable platform that allows you to create interactive demos of anything on the internet. And I'm the kind of person who creates videos for a living. So I say to myself, what do I need Fable for? I can just make a video of it, but it's really useful. I created this demo of the AppSumo homepage and it so quickly created an awesome guide for that page. If I click on play, we can preview it. After you watch the preview, I'll show you that I did almost nothing on this. So here it says, welcome to AppSumo. Having trouble using AppSumo? Don't worry, this quick demo will guide you through. First, exploring Black Friday deals. Second, finding courses and digital resources. Third, accessing your account and purchases. Let's get started. I didn't write any of that, Fable did. I didn't put this box here, Fable did. Let's click on let's begin. Here it says, let's start by exploring the AppSumo homepage. It has this section highlighted, because this is where I clicked. I clicked on these arrows right here. Here you'll find the Black Friday deals. Take a look at the product carousel to see the amazing offers available. I didn't write product carousel. I clicked on product carousel in when I was creating the demo, but it knew that it was a product carousel. You can even scroll down the page. It's like the full website and the demo is just overlaid. So we did that step. Great, now scroll through this carousel to view more products. Each card displays the product name and da 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 da. Did that, okay. Interested in specific types of products? Click on courses and more, the navigation menu. Let's click on courses and more. And it goes to the courses and more page. Now let's access your account. Click on the profile icon in the top right corner, then select products from the drop down menu to view your purchases. Okay, view my purchases. Welcome to your product inventory. Here you can see all your activated and available products. Click on any product to manage access. Got it, thanks. Congratulations, did it all. Book a demo. There's a call to action to book a demo. Now that you saw what we created, let me show you how easy it is. Let's do another one on the AppSumo homepage. This time, do it a little differently. So it wants us to resize the screen to be the perfect size for its needs. So we'll click on resize. Don't worry if you think it's gonna record what's off, the, off on the side, it's not going to, it only records what's on your screen. Click on record a new demo, wait for five seconds. This time we're gonna do things differently. Here it says, click the icon again to stop recording. Let's click on shop drop one. There's multiple drops for Black Friday deals on AppSumo this year. Let's click on squarely. Let's see if it'll be able to pick us up as clicking on one of these. Let's do the double. So clicking right there. Everywhere you click, it should be picking up what you're clicking and then give you text-based information on that click inside the demo. Now let's go into, uh, let's see, coupons and credits. I have zero available credits, that's unfortunate. And let's end the demo right there. Stop recording, click on save as new demo. In this first box, we tell it about the features we demoed. In the second box, we tell it about the objective of the demo. And who are we telling this? We're telling this to Quilly, which is Fable's AI that helps us create all the content for the demo. So I wrote in the first box, how to navigate AppSumo's Black Friday deals and where to find available credits in my AppSumo account. Basically a really quick summary of what we did in the video. And for the objective, I wrote to book a 15 minute demo call. This is what we want the people who are watching the demo, our prospects, to do after they've watched it. Click on finish creating demo using Quilly. Now it's gonna put in a bunch of work. I'll just pause this video while it works. It only takes a minute or two. And I'll be back almost instantly for you in a minute or two for me. That was pretty quick. I think that was probably less than a minute. Now we choose a theme. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. There's one that Quilly suggests based on the content on the site because it inspects the HTML. There is also one that's just globally default. And then you can customize either of them. I'm just gonna choose the one that Quilly thought would be perfect and go from there. Now it's creating all these things. This is Quilly's progress. Quilly's writing all the content. I'll pause this video again and I'll be back in just a bit. That was probably less than 20 seconds. And now we're back, demo's done. Here it says, welcome to AppSumo's Black Friday extravaganza. You recall, I didn't write that, Quilly wrote that. Discover amazing deals on AI powered tools and learn how to maximize your savings. Ready to supercharge your business? I didn't write about AI powered tools, but those are super trendy right now. And most of the Black Friday deals have AI power tools. So it, it read that off the page. It even says, scale your content game with AI right 
where we click the button. Let's click on Let's Explore. So here it says, this first box, it highlights it there. AppSumo's Black Friday Extravaganza, scale your content game with AI-powered tools. Get an extra 19% off. Hurry, these deals won't last. So it took that first sentence there, right off the page, and added in, hurry, these deals won't last. Show me the details. It took us right down to the bottom of the next page. Remember, we clicked and we scrolled down. I'm not sure if we can add that scrolling effect in but we did click on Squirrely SEO. And here it says, boost your SEO with Squirrely. Rank up your WordPress site. I'm gonna change that text. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We can change everything you see. Rank up your WordPress site with AI-driven SEO goals. Get lifetime access for a whopping 91% off. Where did it get the 91% off from? Because it doesn't show that here. It must've read that on the next page. Click on tell me more. And I don't see where it said 91% off. Maybe did some math. I don't know. So we clicked on double, it's not a link. So you can click on things that aren't links and it will try to explain what you clicked on. And it understands that this is part of a, a payment tier, a payment plan, and it basically summarizes what it is. Our double plan offers more value. 10 sites, 50 focus pages, and 30,000 keyword ideas monthly. Ready to supercharge your SEO? Question mark. How do I buy? That's not what we're doing. So that's not exactly accurate because we're not buying. I'm, I'm now going to the credits. Manage your profile products and payments all in one place. Let's check your available credits. Check my credits. And it doesn't really show us exactly how we got here. So when you're planning your demo, maybe plan your clicks better or differently, I'm not quite sure. But it didn't show us exactly how we got here. Your AppSumo credits, your current balance is zero. Apply credits at checkout or redeem gift cards for even more savings. Learn about savings. Combine coupons, credits, gift cards for the best deals. Ready to say big on Black Friday? Book my demo. Ready to take the next step? Book your 50 minute demo call now to learn more about our Black Friday deals and da 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 da. Click on book a demo and then that would take them to the demo booking. That's super, pretty awesome. But we wanna edit some stuff because it's not perfect yet. Let's click on edit and we see our demo broken up into steps that you can navigate through. And you can click into any one of these pages and you can edit all the content. So here's the pop-up box with the text. On the right is the text that you can edit and put into here. I think that's a pretty good piece of text. Let's add, let's go, right there. We can create an audio video guide based on this content and add it in there as well. We can change the branding, as in change the colors, the background colors, the font. This is of this box that you see, not of the whole site, just the box. You can show the Fable watermark or not, depending on what kind of plan you have. Under advanced, we can customize even more. Probably things that people don't wanna customize usually, but you have those options as well. For the calls to action, you can pick the button layout. You can pick how it works. You can add another button if you want. Under effects, this applies effects to elements on the screen, either selected or non-selected. You can choose the different effect types, including Cyberpunk, which is the one you should always be using, I think. You can add effects on the annotations. You can change the sizing and position. The positioning might be something you wanna change. If I click on this down arrow, you can choose where the box is positioned. You can also choose medium, small, large, or custom for the size. And then this is the, the starting box on the next slides where you actually have the box pointing at something. You have more positioning options. I'll show you those in a minute. Under advanced, this is the entry point. Got a check box there because you need to have an entry point for your demo. So that's this one. That's all the options, really. If we go to the second box, the second slide, let's see, we have an arrow here pointing at a specific thing and the positioning, let's go to custom. This option was not available for that starting box. I'm clicking on the left side, but it's not going there because it'd be off screen, it'd be past the left side here. And the top probably wouldn't work either, but the bottom should work. There we go, there's the bottom and the right works. So depending where on the screen the object that you're annotating is, you can pick different positions. Hotspot is also a new one. You can choose to hide the annotation or not. And if your annotation is not pointing to the right spot, you can select a nested element, which is a different element on the page because Fable gets all the HTML for the whole website. This is a scannable website. It's the full page. You can look all around. It's like an interactive demo of the website, which is pretty cool and entry point is unchecked because this is not the entry point. So you can edit all of the slides, annotations, just like that. 
you can click the plus icon right here to add another slide in between these two. So for example, you can create a new annotation on this screen or by adding a new screen. So if you click on this screen, it'll just duplicate this and you can add an annotation. By adding a new screen, it's gonna have you record a new screen and add that in there as well. These connectors can be deleted. Let's delete that one. And let's connect it to, see if we can have branching pathways. I can't connect it. There we go. Now I've done it. I think I busted it. So I can't manipulate this connector anymore. These connectors stay connected. This one just drew an arrow there and it's not what we want. So as with most AppSumo deals, it's a great product, but it's still a work in progress. We can click over here to add a new screen to this demo. I like that I have this arrow pointing where I'm, where I'm talking about now. You can design your loader. This is the default loader that plays when the demo's loading. You can upload your own logo, you can upload a link, you can upload a GIF or a Lottie file, and you can change the text on the page. We can also work on the mobile responsiveness. My application is mobile responsive, my application is not mobile responsive. It is because it's a website. So hopefully AppSumo is mobile optimized. I clicked on your app is mobile responsive, and then check out how this demo works on mobile devices. Is another link so we can see how it works on mobile. And that's pretty sweet. Under the gear icon, we have the ability to change from light mode to dark mode to no frame. I believe this is just in the back end. No, this is for the embedded demo. Let's go dark mode. Let's click on publish. To publish this thing, let's copy the link, see it live. There's our demo. Oh, I know why it's not working. Because I broke the connection for the first one. Let's make this the entry point. and make this one up here not the entry point. Might have unselected it. You only have one entry point, so it unselected that automatically. Now let's try the demo for the mobile. Now it should work a bit better. That's pretty cool, mobile optimized. It did change the positioning so it all fits. That's super slick. That's mobile optimized. And now let's publish again and we clicked this demo already and we saw the demo. Let's do it again, actually, because it crapped out on the first try because I didn't have that connected. Show me the deals and now we see the demo that we saw before. Okay, that's great. We can also embed on a landing page with an iframe. Just use this code to embed it on a landing page. Bob's your uncle and it's ready to go. You can also use variables in the annotation message and pass variables from URL parameters into the demo. Let's try that. So let's put first name into this one. Let's just say first name, scale your content. That's, it's saving according to that little disk there. Okay, that should be saved. And now we have to add this to the URL. So let's copy this and then copy this. Get our handy clipboard saver, put those two on there. And let's say Bob for the name. And now it should insert Bob on that first slide. It didn't. Let's hard refresh. So we're not looking at cached stuff. And there's Bob. I like it if it was the same size and same font and everything. Did I mess that up? Is it because when I added it, I just copied and pasted? Probably. Let's type it in. You can see it looks like our variable. So let's just type in the variable instead of copying and pasting it. First underscore name, comma space, and then delete that. All right. Saving. Now come back over here. Hard refresh and do it again come on you can do it frank and there we go took a bunch of refreshes but now it's got the text at the same size and scale and font and everything as the actual demo text so don't copy and paste those variables make sure you actually type them out and format them as you have the rest of the demo and that's legit i love it and you can also add modules as in chapters so if I click into here and then click on create a module, I'm going to call the overall heading for it chapters. For the first one, I'm going to say AppSumo Site Nav. Choose a module it applies to. So I'm going to choose B1. Let's put it there. And then for the second one, I'm going to say AppSumo Credits. Choose a module it applies to. We only have B1 and A1 to choose from because those are the separate pathways here. So I'm going to actually make a new pathway. I'm going to delete this connector and this will be our second module. So it's going to run through this one as the first one and this one as the second one. Go to edit modules. We have our site nav associated with B1. Click on add another module. I'm going to call this one AppSumo Credits and I'll choose 
C1, and I'm done here. Let's publish that. Let's open this incognito. Maybe it'll save us a few refreshes. So here it shows our chapters down below. So we can go to any one of these and navigate through like chapters would. So if I want to go back to the beginning, go back to the beginning. So your demos can be quite extensive and you can navigate back and forth and forth and back using chapters. It's pretty cool. Now, what else is there? There's the demo hub. This is a place that you can have on your site that will host all your demos. And I say on your site because under settings, you can add a custom domain. So you can have, I don't know, demos.yourdomainname.com and all your demos will be in that place. On the leads tab, it'll show you how many leads you've captured through your demos and information about them. On the integrations tab, we can integrate with Zapier, Slack, Pipedrive, webhooks, which allow you to integrate pretty much anywhere, HubSpot, Salesforce, Pardot, MailChimp, Outreach. And these will basically pass the contact information for the leads into these systems so that you can collect their data. You can also have custom field mapping. So if you added custom fields to your forms that collect, say, birthday date, you can map a field to your CRM so you can add their birthday if they enter that into the field. Under user management, you can invite more users. And depending on which plan you have, you can have more and more users. And we have all the usual things like billing, settings. The data sets is pretty cool. It allows you to create a data set like this, for example, which will automatically fill in the personalized content into your demos so you can personalize them at scale. That's really handy. You can also book a free demo consultation. So if you're having trouble figuring out what you're doing or don't know if this is for your use case, you can book a demo and someone at Fable will help you with your account and try to help you figure out whether it's something your business can use and benefit from. If you want to try Fable out, I encourage you to check out a tier one license. You can get one custom domain, one creator, and 60 total minutes of video or audio guides. That's total, that's not per month. You get 60 total minutes. I'm not entirely sure how they measure the total minutes because if you think back to the one we just created, it's a custom guided tour. You can take all the time you want to go through there. So I'm not sure what the 60 minutes actually means, but you can add call to action buttons, customize the demo loader and no limits on embeds. And then each tier you move up, you get more features and more total minutes and more custom domains and more creators. So go here, pick the tier that you want. I'm probably going to max this one out because I can see a lot of use case potential for it. And you really can't go wrong because the monthly cost is way higher than the AppSumo cost. And if you think you're going to use it, think you're going to get value from it, I encourage you to click the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. It does not cost you more to go through that link, but it does make AppSumo give me a commission to help me keep making these videos for free. And you should check out Fable. It's awesome. And like I said, I'm probably going to max it out, That max out the tiers, hopefully apply it a lot in my businesses. If you got value from this video, make sure you click like and subscribe to let me know. And then check out this video right up here for an app called Be Human, which is also an AppSumo. That's going to help you send your Fable presentations to cold leads at scale using personalized video. It's a super slick tool. Make sure you check that out. My name is Bjorn from Launch Time Media. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.